Once you have your rules and your video and your data set up, this is where you can provide the context within your analysis process quicker than ever. Here you can see our dashboards. On the left hand side, I have different dashboards set up for different parts of my game plan. Whether that's finishing, progressions, set plays, high defending, or even our match exports. These dashboards are designed to use video and data to provide the insight that you're trying to drive, whether that's from a pre-match or post-match analysis process. So for example, if I want to have a look at the distributions from a goalkeeper, I can use the video here on the left-hand side in data tables, or I can visualize it in a field. Within Insight, you'll be able to do things like add heat maps automatically to look at the endpoints of where the distribution is coming from goalkeepers. So for me, this example in the game selected, you can see the goalkeeper's distribution is quite long. You can also formalize the data in the customized way that you want. So for example, looking at goal kicks for a specific team, or if you wanted to have a look at open play distributions, including the goalkeeper, you can use the same visualization and the same filters to have a look in different aspects. Here, you can do very similar by adding the heat maps. You can choose the end or the start location, but also add overlays, things like event numbers, whether that's a percentage or by zone, is completely up to you. This provides insight to understand how maybe a goalkeeper is distributing or how your goalkeeper is distributing linked to your game model. Within this build-up, you can also have a look at sequences that start with a goalkeeper, and you can then define, using the filters on the right-hand side, what you're looking for. Specific start locations, specific players, and also specific end locations. So if I move the end location, you'll also notice the data table will change with the end locations. This will allow me to then analyze different sequences within the dashboards really efficiently. You'll also have access to things like pass networks, where you can see tendencies of pass relationships between players, whether that's in your own team, from a post-match analysis uh, process, or in a pre-match opposite analysis process to help you set up when you're looking to defend a specific style of a team. Within Insight, you'll also have the ability to have a look at tracking data and use the visualizations of tracking to really drive and improve the understanding of how teams set up. Here, I'm using a broadcast tracking provider, and I can actually start using some of the insights to have a look at how they set up from defense and how the teams are setting up within their goalkeepers. Go kick. With the tracking and having the ability to use tracking data, within Insight, you can actually export the tracking angle as a video for sports code. This enables you to provide better feedback to players, to coaches in different workflows. Within Insight, you can also create charts to have a look at how players potentially are progressing with the ball up through the field. All of these dashboards are set, ready for you to use on a regular basis across every opposition. Or you can create your own dashboards for each opposition, all depending on how you want to achieve your end goal. With the tracking, you also have the ability to have different overlays, and you can also do it between players. So if you want to link specific players, you can link specific players. So if I wanted to link 22 with 18, you'll notice I could connect these two players on the tracking widget. This provides you with extra level of context if you want to have a look at things like widths or depths of specific players within your team. Another example of a dashboard could be looking at finishing. So how do teams finish the attack? If you're looking at from crosses, where they cross the ball on a regular basis. So from here, the games I've selected, you can see the crossing from the right-hand side. You can see the players involved. And every single one of these icons are linked to video. So using the visualizations, I can access the video directly through Insight. 
You have other widgets like the goal, so you can have a look at shots and how they shoot within different ranges. And you can also have a look at the goals from different games, so you can pair them across uh, multiple games. An important one for you may be set plays. Here, you can evaluate things like your corners. You can evaluate the free kicks, whether they actually shoot on a regular basis or actually set up for your, for your set plays. Or you can have a look at throw-ins in specific zones. So here, I've specifically put throw-ins in the final third to see if teams go long or short within their throwing strategies. Or you can have a look at things like their deep free kicks. So you can actually lose the filters on the right-hand side to evaluate how teams are actually setting up on deep free kicks. All of these are simple ways to be able to provide evidence to make better decisions. We also have things like high defending, where you can actually compare teams from high press, interceptions, regains, and different workflows, whether that's pre- or post-match analysis. 